Welcome back, Murderheads. What the F car finds on Facebook Marketplace Fans Edition. Uh, first, got a 1988 Chevrolet Monte Carlo for $10,350. This was here sent to us by Charles McDaniel. Thanks a lot, Charles. $10,000. <laughs> you know, I'm really starting to think stupidity might be stronger than some of the drugs these people are taking anymore. $10,000? No, you're not getting $10,000 out of this car. This car is a POS. Just because you put wheels on it and lifted it to the damn moon does not make it worth $10,000. The only thing that's high here, other than your price, is your level of stupidity. And stupidity is one of those things I don't think can be cured. At least if you quit taking the drugs, you might get a little smarter. This thing here, absolutely not. You're not getting any smarter. You're not getting 10 grand. No! This is absolutely a POS. What the F? Uh, next, got a little Suzuki here for $14,000. This one here sent to us by Donald Campbell. Thanks a lot there, Donald. Now, what in the messed up mud bugger hell do we got going on with this damn thing they want $14,000 for? Jesus Christ, $14,000. No, no, Riri. I think you might want to start sniffing the mud pit before you start running through there, because I'm not really necessarily thinking that's mud. I'm thinking it might be some bullshit, though. It's kind of getting in your brain and really starting to kill what's left of your last few brain cells you have up there. But no way in hell, $14,000, man. Uh, next, got 2008 Honda Odyssey for $4,800. That's here sent to us by Derek Whitcraft. Thanks a lot there, Derek. Oh, dear God, somebody's cornbread soft in the middle. What the hell's going on with this little thing? What's going on with those little baby doors? Well, I guess they did put the little stripe kit on it to try to spice it up a little bit. What the F, man? No. Uh, next, got 2000 Geo Metro for $1,500. This one here was sent to us by Jeff McDonald. Thanks a lot there, Jeff. <laughs> My God. How much Muslim were you drinking when you thought this was a good idea, man? For God's sakes. You know what? $1,500. If it ran, I'd probably buy it and play around with it till the body fell off. Because it kind of looks like the body's going to get knocked off there with the right wind. Uh, next, got a 1960 Chevrolet truck for $7,500. This one here is sent to us by Jeremy Holder. Thanks a lot there, Jeremy. Welcome back to another episode of Arts and Crafts with Crackhead Bob. This week, Bob built himself a damn truck. Why in the hell do you think this truck is worth $7,500 damn dollars? Dude, you know, you, you started out with a pretty cool little cab there to do something with. And then you got to behind the cab there and started bolting on weird stuff with the bed. And you just really didn't help anything. You actually made it worse. You you probably made this worth about a total of $7.50, for God's sake. $7,500. I don't know what the hell y'all been pumping on down there in Alabama, but you need to stop. Uh, next, got a 1960 Chevrolet truck for $6,000. This one here was sent to us by Joseph Thomas. Thanks a lot there, Joseph. Oh, for the love of God, people. Seriously, there's another one from Alabama. We really need to know what the hell you guys are ingesting down there. Because we need to make sure you guys can never get your hands on it again if you own any kind of damn tools. Whatever you've done here, it doesn't even flow together. You just really destroyed a truck. Please give away your tools, put your damn helmet back on, and just go crawl back in there with your damn crayons in the corner somewhere. Uh, next, got a 1997 Chevrolet S10 for $3,000. This one here was sent to us by Michael Forrest. Thanks a lot there, Michael. Now, this is kind of one of those, it's a what the F because of the body kit. I'm not a fan of this body kit, but I think with some tweaking, this one here would probably be a pretty cool little truck. For $3,000, absolutely not, at least not for me anyway, at $3,000. But if I could get that for round two, I would probably take that home and try to get that all straightened out and make it look a hell of a lot better. But it's still a what the F. Uh, next, got a 1954 Chevrolet for $18,500. This one here was sent to us by Sean Cowan. Thanks a lot there, Sean. <laughs> now look, I like me a rat rod. I like people thinking outside the box. I think this could have been cool if this guy wouldn't have done it. He had a good start there in the front, but I'm thinking maybe somebody else started on the front half, and he's the one to put the buck teeth on it and put the bed and the little side saddle tanks that he put on there using the kegs but eighteen thousand damn dollars you were absolutely not getting eighteen thousand dollars out of a bunch of damn scrap i'm sorry you really don't even have anything super cool that's actually powering the damn things absolutely not no eighteen thousand dollars no uh next got 1933 plymouth for seven thousand dollars this one here was sent to us by jim jim didn't give his last name must be hiding from the law but anyway thanks a lot jim 
Oh, for the love of God, man, $7,000. What in the hell do you think you're getting $7,000 for out of this damn thing? Just because it's a 33 Plymouth? No, you're not getting $7,000 out of this rusty old body and beat up in the wood floor, man. I mean, couldn't you at least put some laminate or something down on the floor back there? I mean, at least made it look a little better. I mean, come on. You know, we're not barbarians and shit. I know it's supposed to be a rat rod, but you could at least done something to dress it up to ask $7,000. Seven. You ain't getting seven thousand dollars there, Spanky. No. If you're enjoying our content, be sure to hit that like button. That helps us, and it also helps other people find us. Uh, next, got a 1972 Ford Pinto for eighteen nine ninety five. This one here was sent to us by Tara Vansenbrock. Thanks a lot, there, Tara. What in the absolute f is this? This is definitely a what the f. I don't necessarily think this is a what the f in a bad way. To be honest with you, I think this is probably the coolest damn Pinto I've ever seen. I think I could actually drive that. I couldn't drive it for $18,000. Because at the end of the day, it's still a damn Pinto. It ain't no damn Pinto worth $18,000. I don't care what you've done to it. Even if it's lined in gold. Well, maybe if it's lined in gold. It definitely has the wow factor. And it will make you say what the F. But it's not that wow and what the F factor for $18,000. Remember, if you got something you like us and the rest of the world to see, send it over to MotorheadMisfitsYT at Yahoo.com. That's all I've got for you today. If you liked today's video, be sure to smash that like button. Consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one.